This award is for every kid who is watching tonight who has a disability, who has a limitation or a challenge. It's an acceptance speech that still has the eyes of this crowd glued to the TV and motivated to one day be in the same spot. I, I thought it was inspirational. Anything's possible in the world. Every last participant at the family residences and essential enterprises on Long Island has a differing ability, but that doesn't stop them all from shooting high. Especially in their theater program. They really have um, the goal to be performers. I think that they've had these interests since they were younger. So when Ali Stroker became the first person in a wheelchair to win a Tony Award over the weekend, it sparked something inside these actors. Everybody, no matter who they are, really wants to look at a TV screen one day and see somebody who looks like them. And I think she represents that for a lot of people who are differently able. The world should see what they can do as opposed to just talk about what they can't do. The group of 170 spends the day in creative writing classes and learns about performing arts in classroom settings. Often they put on different plays and musicals at local theaters. When I'm on stage, I'm thinking that um, that I'm going to be that I'm a star. But Allie's win is helping them realize Broadway could be their next step in life, especially 24 year old Anthony Hug, who needs a walker to get around. Allie, she is a winner. She's amazing. And she is a hero to all of them. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.